Hello, my name is Dr. John Illingworth and I'm a lecturer in biochemistry at the University of Leeds. Every adult human being has about a teaspoonful of glucose circulating in their blood. This may not sound very much, but it is essential for life. If there were less than, say, half a teaspoonful, then that person could lose consciousness and die. If there were two teaspoons circulating, then the patient is probably developing diabetes with serious consequences for their health. Blood glucose levels are not constant. They rise briefly after meals and fall when we are asleep. They depend on what we eat and what exercise we take. But in healthy people, they generally vary between 3.5 millimolar and 6.5 millimolar. In round numbers, we can say the average is about 5 millimolar. Blood glucose is important because it is a major fuel for the brain. Other organs also use glucose, but our brain cannot manage without. The brain has alternative sources of energy, particularly when we are fasting, but glucose still plays a major role. We cannot think clearly with insufficient glucose. If our blood glucose falls below 3.5 millimolar, we may feel ratty and bad-tempered. We may become hungry and agitated. Our heart rate rises and we may break out in cold sweats. These are all signs and symptoms of the hormones adrenaline and glucagon, which our body secretes in response to low blood glucose or hypoglycemia. This is the medical term for low sugar in the blood. Americans say epinephrine instead of adrenaline because of a trademark dispute. Normally, adrenaline and glucagon pull things round, so our blood glucose remains in the normal range. But if, for some reason, they failed and our blood glucose continued to drop, then we would lose consciousness, fall into a coma and possibly die. 